to one year of freedom. Amber held up her cup of green tea. Mickey stared into her latte and shook her head. Let's not toast to that. She looked up and found Amber's eyes. Freedom's overrated. Amber cocked her head. What's wrong with you today? This is not the effect my yoga class is supposed to have. She kept holding up her mug. Mickey averted her glance. Amber was always beaming with positive energy and obvious physical and mental health. Some days it was just too much. I'm not saying I'm not happy that my divorce became official exactly one year ago, but I don't have that much to show for it. This yoga session is the highlight of my week. My children don't need me anymore, which they keep reminding me of at every turn. I had foolishly believed my life would become better after leaving Darren, but it doesn't feel that way. You're still finding your feet. And Olivia and Christopher do still need their mother very much. They're still getting used to the situation as well. Think long term, Mickey. Well, I definitely don't want to get back with Darren. I just feel so empty, so meaningless. And my days are filled with literally doing nothing. They're filled with the exact same activities as before the divorce. It's just your perspective that's different, Amber said. Amber was a good friend to have, but her spiritual mumbo jumbo did irritate Mickey at times like these. Mickey could also do with a glass of New Zealand Sauvignon Blanc much more than this latte. Mickey shrugged as Kristen, the pink beans owner, headed in their direction. Hello, ladies, she said. I hope you had a good class. Mickey let Amber reply to that question. Amber explained how she'd had her students stay in pigeon pose for longer than usual and asked Kristen when she was going to join again. Oh, as soon as I find a new employee. She thrust a sheet of paper in Mickey's direction. Are your children old enough to have an after-school job? My children? Mickey bristled. Actually work for pocket money? She feigned an exaggerated laugh, then clasped a hand to her chest. It's my own fault. I spoiled them too much. How about you, Mickey? Amber's voice rose. 